Hey everybody, uh, it's Cap here again, and uh, in today's DCS F16 uh, Husky Flying Club uh, tutorial video, um, we are going to be covering some of the some of the stuff the F16 was built for, which is um, um, offensive basic fire maneuvers or dogfighting. Um, so something unique about the uh, F16 is that um, it actually has a dogfight switch. You have your stick on the right, and you got your throttle on the left. On the throttle, there's this thing right here. You can see it kind of scrubbed out, but it says dog fight. Basically a mode that takes any heat seeking weapons on your airplane. So for example, these AIM-9Xs, I should probably turn that up too. Um, these AIM-9Xs, as well as um, your gun, and it basically displays it all on one HUD. So something great about the S16 is look at this visibility. It's amazing. You don't have any A pillars or C pillars, whatever you call them, um, that you'll have in an F15, an F18, A10. So you have this great visibility look out and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and kind of get started and I'll kind of walk you through um, kind of what we're going to be exploring today. All right, so let's go ahead and walk us through. So let's do 27, just pass right our nose and we're going to go ahead and gain the kill. So right now I have the hammocks up and as you can see my radar has got a lock on him and I can see him. It tells me his angels, his angels 21 and it doesn't tell me much else besides where he's at. So we're going to go ahead and gain a kill. I'm not going to use the AM9s here even though I do have a good lock. So, some of the AM9s is you're gonna go to probably want to put them to bore, which means you can go out and you can go, hey, look, I have a lock on them. I can lock them, I can lock them, I can lock them with my head. Alright, he's diving on us, so let's go ahead and put him down. He hit, so that's, he's hit the cans right there. I'm gonna go with the gun track here. So, something we're gonna introduce you just to the ho task commands. TMS up, locks him up. And we're looking for a pepper solution here, so I'm gonna pull lead, 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 and guns. Good kill. So that was a lot, and I can understand where you're going. I basically just wanted to show you mm, how fast things happen. So we're gonna cover a couple things. First is the dogfight switch, what I just did. So dogfight switch forward. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them up. Dogfight switch is a center, has a dogfight or a center position as well as a missile override switch. We are only be using the dogfight. So pressing it forward into the dogfight position it basically pulls up this menu right here. Now what does it tell us? So this is our gun snake. It basically it takes a preset wingspan and any and at a certain distance the wingspan of that airplane. So for example a 30 foot wingspan airplane um, if it lines up perfectly with one of those. It's basically like how we have a good gun solution. So when the airplane's wing tips line up with there and there, it'll hit. But something in the S16 that we're gonna be using is the EGS gun sight. So in the front of the airplane, we have this thing called a radar. It is in this nose right here. Part of the radar is this forward looking gun sight. And the EGS gun sight is composed of a pipper, this hollow circle here, and a estimated Basically, like, if the guns were to hit the ground, where would they hit? And that is that cross right there. So you can think of this as your crosshair, and this is the computed impact point. So this is where you're gonna want to shoot. This is our, our basically our AIM 9X Luke you. So in my in my head mounted queuing system, I look, and this diamond would follow me everywhere. So wherever that diamond is, that your head is looking. This is the radar lock. This X indicates that he is no longer in the hood, and I should be looking elsewhere to find it. This is the distance countdown. When it gets too low, you're inside your mid-firing distance and you should not engage that target. This is the range. So, as you can see, the EGS gun sight or the AIM-9 has a five mile range. Its probability kill range is just inside four miles. This is its closure rate. This is its mid-fire rate. You can barely see it there, but that little box has its mid-fire distance. So once we get into here, we cannot shoot. I'm gonna cover one more thing that's displayed here. This is your fire control radar. This basically takes this little radar thing that I've been working and puts it on here. We'll be talking about beyond visual range engagements later, but we want the fun stuff. That's dogfight. So like I said, it takes this five mile probability kill chart and puts it on your radar as well. The radar is in the ACM mode. It is a 20 mile radius, it is in normal mode, and we're not gonna override it and we're not gonna mess with any of the controls. It has a Standard radar elevation right there in the middle as you can see by this little indicator right here. Let's use some uh, SA here So we're looking we're looking. Hey, I don't got that bandit. Hey, I don't got that bandit Really gotta be looking here gotta be super on top of it Something that will help you out is this system right here called the RWR when the enemy radar 
Whoa. Comes, swings behind me. It will light me up. So I'm going to kind of hang out. Oh, whoa. See? He's right on my six. 29 spike, my six. I'm defending. And I'm looking, and I'm looking. I'm blind. Let's go ahead and back. Oh, he's locking me up. And that's a missile out. That was a bad idea. Why are you going head on me with an A9X? That's a bad idea there, 227. Let's go ahead and level out here for Wag starts talking at us again. I put myself in a really bad position. And what I used is my radar warning receiver. When we go ahead and go down here, we go. NWS on, you can really turn it off. The missile warning system is basically for the advanced block. So the missile warning system will pick up IR missiles. So obviously I didn't have it enabled. So um, if that was an IR launched missile he shot at me, I would have had it picked up on my RWR. If my missile warning system was enabled, it'll basically pick up that giant white plume you saw. Uh, my jammer, I have it on and my RWR was on. So this is my radar warning receiver. This is my countermeasure system. So for example, I attempted, but was not successful in deploying flares in time. What you really need to be doing is you need to be looking on the swivel. So as you saw, I made a Hemix kill by using my aim nines, looking at him, getting a good tone and pulling the pickle button, which is this red button right there. To get out of dogfight mode, we simply just go dogfight center. Our fire control radar right here has two modes. Range wall scan, so basically tracks one target at a time, or track wall scan. It can track multiple targets and lock up multiple targets and engage multiple targets at the same time. You will want to be using TWS most of the time. We'll cover that in a later video. For now, that's basically the crash course on dogfighting. So like I said, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need your dogfight switch bound, your pickle button switch, or also known in the weapon in, in this thing as the weapon release button, WPN release depress, and all in all, good situational awareness. If you want to cover your countermeasures system, you're going to want to have it in the manual mode. You can have it on program one. By default, it will release 10 trap and 10 flare. And you'll need to have your countermeasures button, which is right here. For reference, the countermeasures button is right here on the stick. If you have any questions, please, have to reach, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, and if you are interested in more learning more about the complexities or maybe different systems um, in DCS, I'd be happy to walk you through it. Again, my name's Camp Reader, and happy flying.